Hello, hello. Hope that everyone is doing great. I am out at White River Falls State Park. It's also known as Celestial Falls, I believe. And it's a multi-tiered waterfall. It's in Eastern Oregon. It's absolutely gorgeous. My first time here. Uh, the weather is, is going to be kind of a problem waiting for the sun to kind of go behind the clouds. going to be very, very helpful. But the falls are stunning. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. Let me show you. It's a multi-tiered falls, it actually goes down and you can shoot back up the, up the canyon. The problem is that uh, the sun is obviously hitting the falls straight on. You can still get a pretty nice shot, I think, from here, but it's going to become a little bit more problematic as uh, we get down further to some of the lower sections of the waterfall. But there's enough clouds in the sky and the clouds are moving pretty quick then I think we'll be able to wait a little bit and let those clouds kind of help us out and get a really, really good shot. But the falls are beautiful. Uh, I'm going to get set up and I'll show you what I find. So I don't know if you can see the back of the camera or not. And if the uh, back of the camera is not visible, I want to show it to you this way. So basically my framing is pretty much like what you see here. This butte here, then I've got the trees, trees, my falls, and then left hand corner of the frame is where the um, is where these are going to go out right now I've got no Sun directly on the fall so I need to grab a couple shots to go along with the other ones so settings are really basic f16 um, ISO 50 because again it's bright and I'm doing multiple shutter speeds and I'll decide for sure which water look I like when I get back on the computer. So I'm anywhere between a, like a quarter of a second to like a 30th or 50th of a second. It's a lot of water flow and it's kind of tumbles as it goes down. It's not just a drop. So I'm not really sure without seeing it on a big screen which one I'm going to like the best. So I cover my bases so when I get home I won't be sad. I'm sure one of these is going to turn out great and so I'll, I'll get to show it to you right now. There's a paved trail, at least it paved for a little bit, and it goes down. We'll be able to shoot back up the canyon, back over this way. And uh, there's another fall that's right there, and it'll make for a really cool photograph. Now you can start to see the canyon that the river carved and see the falls up there at the top. Really, really pretty. And as long as the sun will help just cooperate just a little bit, we're going to get some good photos down here too. So there's the falls right there with the back tier and the front tier of the falls. And I don't know if you can see it, but right now it's snowing just a little bit. It's crazy. We've had the weirdest weather. We've had hail, <laughs> a massive snow dump, like eight inches at my house last week, which uh, closed everything because it was just this heavy, wet, wet, slippery snow that was not expected uh, in the second week of April. It was absolutely crazy. But right now it's snowing just a little bit. So I found my second shot. And again, I think it's pretty basic. It's, it's uh, well, I should say pretty obvious. Of a, of a photograph um, 
and I'm just working on tweaking that composition, remembering that I'm, I'm shooting a little looser than I, uh, uh, a little wider, I should say, uh, than I need to because I'm, I'm going to want to be able to crop just a little bit, and I'm not really sure what I might leave out if I try to do it in camera, you know, get the composition as tight as I can. Remember, you can always crop, but you can never add those pixels back if you shoot too tight, if you zoom in too far. So I'm going to put a three-stop ND filter in addition to the, my polarizer so that I can shoot these falls with about the same shutter speed with a light on it, because it's going to get it a totally different look, but it still won't blow out those highlights, and I'll get the texture in the water that I want. So let me get that set up. I just got a shot. I did some vertical, but I think I might like the landscape better because you notice that this will be my composition is roughly this. And I love the way that this elongates the river and it exits over here, uh, the left corner of the frame. And I also absolutely love the colors and the texture in this rock wall that kind of like leads you back to the, the first fall and then the main fall all the way back up there. Uh, luckily, there's enough, a little bit of blue and a little bit of cloud. It's not just a blob of white, you know, that, that the big awfulness of, of waterfalls is usually at the very top. You've got this void of nothingness, this white ugly that's awful. But today, got fortunate that it's a little sliver of blue and then some nice clouds that are gray and it got texture and some depth to it instead of just solid white. So I think it's going to come out absolutely stunning. I love the vertical probably better than the, uh, I mean the horizontal. I love the horizontal more than I love the vertical. So I'll show you both and you let me know which one you like best down in the comments below. location the waterfall is beautiful great flow I'm glad I came uh, I've been like I say I've been wanting to come to this waterfall for a while and I've done my research and my homework on it and I know that in the summertime it dries up a lot and so those it's not nearly the water flow that we have now plus it becomes a really great swimming hole people go down to these this area that we're going to go to next and they're, they're, there's people swimming so that it's very very crowded in the summertime which is the other detractor and then the last thing is, uh, a lot of times the water will get a muddy brown. And right now it's a gorgeous clear, it's got greens and it's, it's beautiful, it's clear and it's, it looks fantastic coming over those rocks. So I'm glad that uh, I came at the right time. Spring is good uh, there's, because things are turning green again. The grasses and the, the little bit of wildflowers, things are like popping around the edges, which I think will also help the photograph uh, versus like, you know, the dark of winter when everything has absolutely nothing anywhere on it out here in eastern Washington. I'm going to take a couple more shots right here just to make sure I got my shutter speeds covered. And then I'm going to head on down the trail to get a little bit closer to that water. It was just like I thought, once you get down to the water level, follow the trail down, you're way too far to the left to even see any of the waterfalls without either a kayak or swimming to get back upstream. Um, and it's winter time and 
I have no desire to do either of those things today. So I'm gonna head back up and see if I can't find one more vantage point. a lower vantage point like right on the water but it's the lowest that allows me to see both tiers of the fall uh, I do like the fact that I've got a really interesting foreground with these rocks that I'm going to show you and also I get more of the uh, more on top of the river as it moves to my left and out the frame so I do like that and I absolutely love shooting right pretty much straight on to the canyon walls because it's gorgeous the oranges and the reds and the textures in the canyon wall are fantastic. And the greens and the few wildflowers that are starting to pop around the edges are just like, you know, icing on the, on the cake. Um, the downside is that, again, the, the, the big falls in the very back are more of a, a background element. They're definitely not the star of the show. They're just there. And because of all of the flow and the mist, they're pretty... Uh, they'll be pretty hazy in the back which is you know not a bad thing i don't think because again that's not where uh, i don't want my viewer eye to viewer's eye to go i wanted to follow the river up to the the lower falls and into that bowl of the canyon and the and the walls so i'm trying to find the best uh height and angle to make all of those ideas come together in the best way possible don't forget you can use your phone instead of getting out a camera and a tripod and setting up shop you can get your phone out and you can hunt a composition much easier up down left right without worrying about a big tripod and all the legs and and the weight of the camera on it and, and all of that so use your phone to help set up your composition because it'll save you a lot of time as you can see the sun has come out in a big way and there's a lot more blue than there are clouds so I'm glad that I managed to get a lot of really nice shots while the, the sun was, was being nice and diffused behind those big puffy clouds, which has been awesome. So let me show you why we're done for the day. You can see how bright it is right here. Then back in this bowl is black, it's just dark. And then right there on the falls, right there, it's a huge bright spot and then it's dark. And there's absolutely no way, even with multiple images, multiple bracketing or whatever you would want to do, that you can make it look right because it's just, there's a sharp shadow that's going to come out on the photograph where that harsh bright light is just cutting across the frame. And is a, it's just time to pack it up and go. So that will do it for Celestial Falls or White River Falls State Park whichever you prefer as far as the name. This is in Eastern Oregon. It is absolutely amazing. It's a gorgeous waterfall, great place to come. Just do your homework before you come so that you don't have direct sunlight, you got an overcast or cloudy day like we had, um, or you're early in the morning, late in the afternoon where you don't have to worry about those harsh shadows happening on the falls. A blue sky day, middle of the day is definitely not a time to even remotely try to do photographs here at this location. By the time this video releases, I will be in Utah leading a workshop to the Grand Canyon and some other places. Bryce Canyon National Park, Zion National Park, Horseshoe Bend, and maybe even a slot canyon or two. And it's not the ones that you're thinking of. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any video that I release. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Appreciate all the comments. And we'll see you next time.